Last practice before game day. How are you feeling, Billy? Good. Hopefully we can just sharpen and uh, tighten up some of the last things. The turnout does not look great. Yeah. I mean, I'm just worried maybe people didn't show up because they think Billy's a frog What did you do to the folks? That was Billy. You have to talk to Billy about that. It's a bad joke. He used to have a lot of pet frogs. My boss would go, oh, you're the frogs. Oh, yeah. And he made a bad joke and now everyone's like, don't go near the frogs. <laughs> Billy frogs. Billy has joke. never had sex with a frog. Never had sex with a frog. Never had sex with a frog. <laughs> You're gonna get me arrested. Yeah, no, I'll stop. I'll stop. Here we go. So thank you guys all for showing up. I know this practice wasn't originally planned, but if we are gonna beat Kenya, we need the extra work. And today's gonna be very easy, no hitting. We're now doing all mental reps. We're gonna be the best offense in Africa. I promise you that. We put in yesterday quarterback power, and I put in a, two, a new play that's called Nyaj. Is that an appropriate name? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What's the name, what? coach? Nyaj. 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 I think we are good. What does that mean? Ass. Ass. Okay, I think that's oh, fine. Yeah. Everybody likes a big Nyaj. <laughs> It's his favorite food. Ah, I, I don't like to eat nyash. <laughs> I, do not, I, do not eat, I do not eat nyash, okay? I like to admire them. Let's get focused, let's oh, yeah, get yeah, focused. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. So nyash, first wide out runs a hitch, second runs a flag. The tight end runs an over route. Also, we're gonna have, in our defense, I know a lot of the defense isn't here, we're gonna have a blitz call, and we'll call that AK, AK-47, because there's, there's, everyone's got AK-47s around here except me. That's a good thing. You may hear me calling from the sideline, AK-47, AK-47. That's the two inside linebackers blitzing. Billy just named a play AK-47. There's actually a high risk for a terror attack over the next few days. Um, the government has confirmed that I think like six or seven rebels made it across the border. I just don't think it's a good idea for us to be screaming AK-47 at a crowded event. We're gonna just walk through, dive left out of Rhino, down. Set, hut. No, 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 did you say stretch or dive? You said stretch. It was dive. Strong left, nyash right, on one. So so do it, just I wanna hear you do it. Strong right. No, 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 strong yes. left, strong left. Strong left, right, yes. nyash. No, no, strong, <laughs> it strong left, nyash. No, it's just strong left, nyash. Strong left, nyash. Strong left, nyash. Right, hut. Practice got off to a slow start. George, we just worked on this. You're supposed to run left. Due to some miscommunication between Billy and our QB, George. So right now I want you to run strong left in Tebe, remember. Strong left, Kampala. Strong left, Kampala. Ready? Ready? Time out, time out. He said Kampala. He said Kampala. Tebe, Tebe. Hut! Why didn't you guys run in Tebe? I need you to run strong left in Tebe. Like, Get, like, let's do it, come on. Yes! Oh, yes! Touchdown! Way to hold on to that. But once we got the cobwebs out, our offense was looking slick. That's how we were gonna win this game. And Billy was in high spirits. Get that gritty on tape! <laughs> or at least he was until I tried calling a play. Run a strong right and Tebe. Strong right and Tebe. Wait, 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 no, you can't call that. Time out, time out, time wait, out. Wait, 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 come on. Bro, it's already so complicated. We have Rhino personnel in here. Thought I could call one play, Billy. Thought I could call Donnie, one play. Donnie, Donnie, you literally fucked it up so badly. I and didn't Tebe's know. Tebe's already hard. I didn't know we were doing Rhino. Yeah, I thought yeah, it, yeah. Tebe was the simplest pass play we had. Oh, fucking A. This is our last hour to really get some quality work done. And then we can take our rest day. Relax, thank you guys so much for coming out for the extra day. You will remember, when we beat Kenya, you'll be thinking, thank God we practiced on Friday and came out because we are going to kick their fucking ass, guys. I'm telling you, you guys are gonna go hard. You're well prepared. Like, let's go out there, put something together. Give me one solid hour and uh, let's fucking get after it. If you can get four yards to carry, you just run the ball the whole game. Set, hut. In 
our last hour of practice, we were no longer playing like a team, but a family. We Uganda, we Uganda, we Uganda, baby! And I had a feeling our Philly special, aka We Uganda, push, push, yes, would be unstoppable. What we want to do is we want to fuck up this guy. All the power of all of you guys are going to be pushing whoever's here, and they won't be able to withstand your whole power. Touchdown! That. Perfect. Perfect. I think they're going to call practice. All right, guys, gather around. First off, take a knee, take a knee. I would like to thank you guys for having Donnie and I. Uh, playing with you and coaching you guys has been some of the most fun I've had in a long time since I played football. I love, here. I love this sport. I love this sport more than anything. Playing this sport, coaching this sport, being around it. So this has been the most fun I've had since I, I played myself. And we really appreciate all you guys coming out because I know a lot of you have another job. Some of you have families. You know, you don't have to be here, but you're here for your brothers. And that's what's important. For the love of the sport and your country. So you guys have prepared well. You guys study the plays before, uh, you know, <clears throat> before the game on Sunday. The hard part is over. This is the hard part. The game is easy. The game is easy because you did all the work now. And because of that, we are going to kick Kenya's fucking ass back to Kenya. What's the name of the Kenyan team? White Rhinos. White, white rhinos. The White Rhinos, okay. Well, last time I checked, White Rhinos were endangered. Yeah. After Sunday, they're gonna be extinct. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. We are generals. Yeah. We shoot rhinos. Yeah. Bang, bang. Never shoot an actual rhino though, okay? <laughs> they, are, they are critically endangered. Yeah. We're gonna kick their niash. And guess what? It's all because of the preparation you guys did these past couple days. From the first day I got here, the first second I was here, you guys have learned so much. You've been great students of the game. And uh, you know, you can't ask for something better as a coach. Rest up, boys. Study the playbook. We're gonna become the best offense in Africa with the best defense in Africa. And we're gonna beat the fuck out of Kenya. Last thing, football is not a game. We have fun, this is fun in practice, a game. When you show up on Sunday, it is war. You can die. No, I mean, let's not, let's no, not get no, too no, scared. No. You can die playing football. That means you can't show up trying to, you know, thinking it's a game, it's not a fucking game. You gotta come with the right mentality, ready to go to fucking war. Because if you don't have that mentality that you're gonna fuck them up, they're gonna fuck you up and you're gonna get seriously injured. You gotta come out ang like focused, adrenaline strong, rest. No going out looking for Naj the night before. No Naj in general. If you have a wife, yes. girlfriend, yes. Sure, no Nash. No Nash all week. There was supposed to be no Nash all week. Today they can have a little Nash. No Nash. <laughs> no Nash. I speak no Nash. If you have a wife, sleep in a different room. No Nash. Sunday and night is Nash night. Sunday night is Nash. <laughs> Kenyan Nash. Hydrate. Drink a lot of electrolytes, potassium. Bananas have a lot of potassium. We don't want to cramp up on game day and drink a lot of water because, you know, playing a full football game compares nothing to this. It's going to be a very fun time. When you go out there and you hit a guy so damn hard that they lose, like, they get their air knocked out of them, you're standing over them after jacking them the fuck up. There's no better feeling in life. There's desecrating him and making him quit, not just destroying his body, but his own will to play the game. There's no better feeling. That first hit of the game, that's gonna get rid of all your nerves. So if you're a little nervous before the game, when you get that first tackle, or you lay someone out with a block, all those butterflies are gonna fly out of your stomach. We're not gonna let them come in here and beat Uganda in Uganda. I will not let that happen. So let's bring it in for one final time. We gunda. Okay, ready, ready. One, two, three, yes!
After practice, a player named Ghost asked to talk to me. What's up? You know, when they were advertising this thing here, they posted a photo yes. of somebody in the helmet. Yes. The w one. And uh, I've seen that before in Shanghai. Shanghai Warriors, right? Have you played in the CNFL? As it turned out, he had played in the same Chinese football league as I had. I actually started playing football in China in 2015 for the Chengdu Mustangs. I had traveled to China. My mom invited me to go live with her. So God gave me the opportunity to play, and I played. I've been in love with football ever since. Awesome. It also turned out he was our team captain. Uh, this team has a captain. He goes by codename Ghost. I ended up as captain because the coach kind of realized that I had the things that were required to be a leader. But hadn't been allowed to practice with the team ever since he had publicly voiced some concerns about the Ugandan Football Federation. This is not being run the right way. You know? yeah. They claim to have support from um, different organizations. The American Embassy, they give them funds and everything, but where does it all go? We don't see none of that. So me as captain, I had to say something. And Ghost was not the only one with complaints. If there's funding or if there's any money coming through, it should really be reached to the ground. Because most of our leaders or what, honestly, they wouldn't be there for us. As outsiders, we didn't want to get involved in African football politics. I get it, you're a man of integrity and you want to take your stand, but you got to decide whether you want to play or you want to just keep... You know, fighting them. Yeah. But definitely needed as many experienced players on the field come game day. So agreed to do whatever we could to get him greenlit to rejoin the squad. If you're looking out for me, then I appreciate it. Meanwhile, Ghost agreed to do whatever he could to keep the team motivated and focused on the task at hand. When we were down, taking a knee, somebody talked about going into the game with a mindset to fuck up somebody else, right? Now, how are we going to do that? We're not going to go and wake up talking to ourselves that we're going to do it. No, we don't talk to ourselves. We are ourselves. You don't need to talk to yourself to know something. You just got to know who you are. You understand? So when you go, you got to know exactly what you're doing. When you're in the bathroom, what are you going to do in the bathroom? To eat? No, you're going to clean your ball. If you're in the football field, you're going to play American football. What you need to do is work better, OK? How do we work better? We use our hearts and our brains. This is to know exactly what you're doing when to do it and how to do it. Football is controlled aggression. And it's what y'all need to do. I was not in camp because of some issues, but I don't care. I was here anyway, because I need to look over my team. Just in case that I do not play on Sunday, I overheard some boys saying they're gonna quit, they're gonna sit out, don't do that. Please, play. They came here to share their expertise and their experience for you guys to learn. So don't waste it, it's not in vain, okay? So play, doesn't matter if I'm there or not. Play, play your asses off. I saw you guys on the line. Some of y'all doing this. This is not the stance. This is the goddamn stance. Cause you're gonna get up with explosion and hit somebody's ass. You're not gonna hit them like this. How the fuck you gonna move like that? Huh? Kenya's gonna be here. We gotta show who we are. Do you understand? No, I didn't hear that shit. Do you understand? Sir! General. What is our profession? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Listen, I'll see you guys on Sunday. Right. See y'all. Right. See y'all. Yeah. I can say it's a shame if I make it. When the bond is bits and clip with the same season, it's unfortunate they already land. Camp was officially over, and tomorrow was our first day off all trip. So I decided to take the crew to see the source of the Nile which Billy was not too excited about. I'm being rational right now. If a terrorist were to attack, it would be at the security. Come, dude, can you just take this seriously? I am taking this very seriously. So a little backstory. Um, we're exactly where the embassy told us not to be. The largest music festival in East Africa is this weekend. It's called Niega Niega Festival. And the U.S. Embassy put out a warning saying that um, U.S. citizens should not go because some terrorists entered the country. Um, they and said they're, they're they, they specifically think they're gonna... targeting this concert. Yeah, so no one has to go inside the music festival. No, we're we are here to see the source of the right Nile, now. and then we're going to go tubing down the Nile. We're going to do a little hippo mode in the Nile. 
Let's go hippo mode in the Nile. Let's let's not fuck around and get blown up. I think you guys are saying the same thing. But as it turned out, the only way to get to the source of the Nile was by entering the music festival. Billy just got held up at the second checkpoint in this concert uh, for having two packs of Zinn and also wearing boots and pants that made him look like a military officer. They thought the Zinn was cocaine and they thought I was a mil in the military. They thought I was Russian. Oh, yes. God. You do look a little Russian. Fuck, dude. And Russians always bring cocaine to music festivals. <laughs> yeah, there's people walking around with guns. Okay, that makes me feel better. I just wish they would give me one. I mean, you made me pay some dude 50,000 Ugandan shillings so you could hold the gun for two minutes last night. You didn't let me keep it. Yeah, he's not gonna let you keep a gun. The terrorists will not win. That's why we're here. But maybe the terrorists had one as the festival vibes were not great. Dude, fuck these terrorists. They ruined the fucking festival for everybody. If it wasn't for the US Embassy warning or the ADF actually trying to plot a bomb attack, this place would be packed right now with foreign gosh. It's really sad. It is sad. Fuck you, ADF. I'll fight you with my hands, like a man. What is that thing? Is this Fanta chess? Seeing we were already putting our lives at risk by being there, we decided to make the most of it. The boys are buzzing. All right, so let's get some beers and then let's go see the source of the Nile. So right now, we are going to see the starting point of the White Nile. And it, this is what I see. It takes three months to reach Egypt. Three wow. months to complete the journey to Mediterranean Sea. So this is the beginning point there. Oh, wow. Yeah. The other side? It's right there. Dude, it's the literal source of the Nile right there. Source of the Nile, honestly, very inspiring. Many men died trying to locate that. Shout out Stanley Livingston. He never made it, I did. Uh, don't mean to flex on old explorers. See all that water bubbling up? 30% of all of the Nile River water comes from that spot. And now I'd have a chance to get even more intimate with this historic river. About to go hippo mode at the source of the Nile. Look at this little hippo mode spot though. Welcome to the infinity pool. This is um, my world created by me. Uh, you can swim, you can feel the Nile, you can take pictures around. Ah. Take this one, take this one. Gotta make sure I don't swallow any of this yes. water. Donnie, make sure nothing swims <laughs> up your dick. Yeah, I will. All right, source of the Nile hippo mode review. Temp wise, this is the perfect temp. It's not too warm, it's very refreshing when you got the African sun beating down on you. You know who's not afraid of the African sun? Billy. He hasn't put on sunscreen once his entire trip. I thought it was t tougher than the African sun. Take, take a look at this. This is, this is your ideal male physique. I am scared of something swimming up my dick and that's why I'm not jumping in the river. Okay, now, yeah, I know there's rumors in the Amazon that there's a type of fish that can um, swim up your urethra and get stuck there. I think that's just a myth, but there is some type of like parasite that actually can swim up the pee hole. Um, but nah, they don't have that here. Yeah, it's up. It's yeah. Yeah. They don't have a fish that swims up your dick? No, it's a parasite. Uh, there's a parasite that swims up your dick? Just a parasite. These Nile beers hit different at the source of the Nile. Yes. <laughs> as long as I don't get a parasite, I'm gonna I'm gonna rate this. I'm gonna rate this an 8.9. 8.9 out of 10. That's very high yeah. on my hippo mode rating skill. Yeah, man. Because this is this is historic. People searched. I mean, you guys probably knew it was here all along, but like, Good deal. But, uh, Good deal. there was a lot of Europeans trying to find this for like hundreds of years. A lot of white men died trying to find this. Yeah. Yeah, but you guys knew it was here. Uh, who, who is that? The president of Uganda. 
He is the president? There is. Yes. Run, you're boy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Do you guys like him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know him well, but. <laughs> but the symbols are like this. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I like how I can just sit here because this guy over there just made his own man-made pool. Because you are the one who made this pool, this is for you too. A hippo mode shirt. Because you and this guy is a pioneer of the hippo mode movement. He only built this little hippo mode spot six months ago. So, you know, if I had come to Uganda a year ago, I wouldn't have been able to swim at the source of the Nile. But thanks to you, I could. So. I'm glad that you had this time, yeah? I had a blast, man. I felt the Nile, yeah? I felt, I felt the Nile. Listen, I know it's the day before game day, and I'm sure people are saying, why aren't you in a film sesh? Well, we have no film. We have no Kenyan film. So we had a day off, and I need to get my mind right. And I get my mind right by going hippo mode at the source of the Nile. We had to walk back through the festival on the way out. And while the situation had not improved, some very interesting characters had started showing up. Is this hot at all? It's gotta be a little hot, right? It's gotta be so hot. Oof. Can you help me understand what she's doing? Um, I don't know. I think it might be an anti-abortion thing or something okay. like that. Okay, it's an anti-abortion demonstration. Maybe. Miscarriage help. Okay, yeah. Save the babies. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Massachusetts. Massachusetts. <laughs> this is your original home, by the way. I know, yeah. I know. Uh -huh. We know that humanity began, began okay. here. Okay. So it's very nice to come back here. And get and, to check it out. And check it out, yes. Okay. Mizungu, two o'clock. Hey, how are you? Oh, this is condom awareness. Let's go. Niega Niega is where there will be no clean sheets. I think we just showed up too early. The bottom line is that the terrorists did not win. We still came. People are still coming in. They got so much security here, man. Good luck if you're a member of the ADF. Good luck. We were grateful to have survived the festival. Just hoped we'd be able to say the same thing after our next activity. Now, to wrap up the day, we're gonna go tubing on the Nile. We signed up for the extreme course. That guy's in a Joe Flacco jersey. Hey, Excuse sir, me. Sir, do you think Joe Flacco is elite? Sorry? Do you think Joe Flacco is elite? Joe Flacco? Oh, yeah. Do you think yeah. he's elite? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Joe yeah. Flacco is elite. That's the correct answer, sir. Best okay. answer. All right, I am pumped to go tubing. Let's go. I got a hippo mode tee if you want to wear it to cover the chest. Do you have another one? Yeah. Oh, I'll take it. Didn't have any sandals. It's clean mud. How do you know that? I don't. Are we gonna be ready for the game tomorrow? We're just we're just fucked right <laughs> now, dude. I think maybe. We... At least once we're on the river, it's gonna be relaxing. Although we did sign we did sign up for the extreme course right off the bat. I could tell that signing up for an extreme tube ride down the Nile was a questionable decision. We got a game tomorrow, and we're just trekking through an African marsh, you're about to hop on a tube and it's like fucking 4.45 p.m. This is not good. But it was too late to turn back. Listen, you only get one chance to wrap the Nile. Yeah. You gotta seize it, even if it's a uh, game day eve. Cheers. To the mighty Nile. I need a nap. I've been averaging like five hours of sleep each night, seven to 10 beers a day. And we gotta play football tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready to fucking die for Uganda. The trip started off pretty relaxing. Today's about getting our mind right. If we spent all Saturday just stressing out about the game, we'd be burnt out come Sunday. It's the relaxing tubing before the game. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That's the perfect level of excitement I, I need before the game. I don't need anything more extreme. Yeah, but Donnie, that was the easiest one. Towards the end, things started getting hairy. As the weather took a turn for the worse. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! That's terrifying. Oh, fuck. And the rapids up ahead looked menacing. Take a rest day, they said. Oh, fuck. 
All right, brother, oh, oh, boys! Oh, 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 shit! When I was fucking getting tossed around underwater, the one thing I could think of was like, is Michelangelo gonna be okay? <laughs> Dude, it came out of nowhere, kind of. More concerned about the lightning than I am the rapids now. I look at all those bugs. Tubing down a waterfall in the midst of a lightning storm was indeed not the right choice before game day. But there was nothing we could do about it now. All right, we gotta get in the car. Except for dry off, get some sleep, and wake up tomorrow ready to beat Kenya. Tune in next week for the first ever Part of My Cheesesteak Africa Bowl. Africa now is Tony on on. No bass boats, but it's Tony on on. Mado, Tony on on. No bass boats, but it's Tony on on. Say, Africa now is Tony on on. No bass boats, but it's Tony on on. Mado, Tony on on. No bass boats, but it's Tony on on.